Hi, this is Becky Chernick, and welcome back to Ask NCM. So today's question is, where do I see F&I going in, in the future? And there's a lot of conversation lately of this digital retailing. And F&I people, veterans alike, say, does this mean we no longer have a job? And I will say that the F&I role could probably, it's going to change, it, it's going to shift, but I don't think we're going to do away with F&I um, as we say it, as we know it. And frankly, I think, however, say, uh, the dealer may uh, have more of that hybrid sales associate approach in that they'll have a higher level uh, individual that would be responsible to begin the transaction, to finalize this transaction with a menu presentation. I do see that that's a good possibility. However, I think that there will be that F&I person in the background who's responsible to work with the banks, the CIT, the funding, the administrative pieces, and also to work with the sales associates for training and to, to, to assure that the customer does have that ultimate uh, buying experience and that we're speeding up that process altogether. They're also going to be responsible, again, not every customer is going to be electronically approved. So they're going to need hands-on intervention from that F&I person to go ahead and work with the banks as well as to, uh, obviously, uh, finalize the transaction, that sort of thing. And then I also see them as a function in the aftermarket sales. So there's a lot of activity, sales activities, that the F&I person can, can still be uh, functioning at the dealership. Thanks for watching. If you have any more questions, please send them to asknsm at ncmassociates.com.